Hi, um, my name is Laurie. I'm the teen librarian at Pride Cheneyville Library. And today we're going to be doing a seahorse composition book. It's kind of fun, a little bit messy, but good. In your bag, you're going to have a composition book, a piece of blue cardstock, and mainly the important guy here is the seahorse silhouette. Okay. What we're going to do, you're also going to get a small container of glue. You're going to need a page from a magazine or a printout, anything at all that you would like to try. And I can show you on your instructions, you're going to have a list, not a list, but you know, a couple of different types of things and shows how it changes by what you put right on the book, because what you're going to do is you're going to take your composition book, we're going to take your picture or your magazine, whatever, and we're going to position it on the book and trim it down. And then we are going to take the blue cardstock cut out like this and glue it over your magazine picture. So when you're doing this, you're going to position your cardstock so that you get like just the right picture you want. Maybe if you find something that has something that looks like an eye, you could put it and position it so that it's right on your, right, right where the eye would be on your baby. Okay. So here is what you're doing. You are first, first and foremost, you're going to cut out your seahorse from the black silhouette. Now you're going to trace your seahorse onto the cardstock all the way around every little corner get them all you don't have to be too fussy because we're cutting the middle of this out too so if you make a little goof like here it's not going to matter okay now once you have it all traced this is what you have. You have a seahorse. Don't need the paper anymore. This can just go away. All right. This is going to be a little bit more difficult because it's harder to cut. Time to cut out the cardstock. Okay, here we go. I've got my silhouette cut out of the blue cardstock. And now we are going to get to work putting this together. Here's what you're going to try to do. You're going to look at your picture and kind of make sure that the front of the book is covered. Make sure you've got all the edges and everything covered. All right, don't worry how close it is or anything. Because remember, the only thing that's going to show through of your picture is what's under the cutout. So this is what we're going to do. We got it where we want it. Mm -hmm, pretty much. And we are going to glue. There's the glue. If you have something besides a Q-tip to use, please feel free to use it. Okay. Whole thing. Now, so we've got that down. Now we are going to just cut off anything extra.
Sorry if you couldn't see that other part. But there we are. We've got enough of it off. And now comes the part you've been waiting for. We are going to flop our seahorse down over the book, over the picture. Kind of feel around a little bit to try to make sure that you get it kind of. And remember now, the binding over here, we're not going to glue over that. We're going to leave that. Okay. Sit. What you're going to do now is really hang on to everything so it doesn't move. And you're going to nail down some of these tiny points. After you've got it all done, you're going to turn it over and you're going to take your scissors and you're going to trim all the extra off. Okay, you're going to go here, you're going to cut it off. Remember I said we're not going to do the binding? We're not going to tape over it or anything? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to just fold it right on that edge. And I'm doing this for two reasons. One is because it kind of makes a nice frame, but also when you're opening and closing your book, you won't be getting in the way of your picture and your card stuff. Okay. Okay, I did a pretty bad job there, but still, it's not, doesn't look too bad. Now, you're gonna go back and glue everything down really good. What you wind up with is this.